Ah, what is going on, guys? Beautiful people. What is going on? Oh, it's raining out here. Sprinkling, rather. All right, today I think I'm. I had to go get my van, guys. Y'all know the red van that I rent out. Um, I guess you rent. I guess you can call it rent. I want. I don't want to call it renting because that may be a little, a little illegal. There's no such thing as a little illegal, is it? <laughs> it's like being a little pregnant. You either is or you ain't. You either are or you're not. Is that proper English? I don't know. Well, anyway, guys. Uh. Let me show y'all why this van is in my possess possession. I I am a procrastinator just like everybody else, guys. What I mean by that is I waited to the very last minute. Where is it at? Yep. Uh, right here. <laughs> this is Spark October 20th. What's the date? The date of 28th? Uh -oh. One of them, well anyway, it's inspired. I got, I think I have to the end of the month, I'm not sure. And also she have a grinding noise. I deal with the brakes later cause I gotta go to AutoZone. Y'all remember I put the front brakes on here uh, and they was lifetime warranty pads. So I wanna thank the noise in the back from what I heard yesterday. I'm gonna see if I can get lifetime warranty for the rear. And that will, I should never have to pay for brakes ever again. Okay, the emissions. Now, uh, I got to get it emission. Now this car have a nagging check engine light on, guys. For P0420. Ah, y'all know what that stands for. Where's my key? Cat converter. Uh, efficiency. Okay, there's problems with the cat. Now what I did is uh, I erased all the codes last night, so my memory is clear. What I'm gonna do right now, y'all know, is cold because I just got up in the morning. <laughs> and the engine is strictly cold. So when I start this thing up, guys, we talking about monitors right now, emission monitors. What's gonna run as soon as I start this up is the evaporative emission, okay? Now I think there's a total of five carb readiness monitors this car would try to run, okay? I only need 75% to say yes. So basically I need four. So what I'm what I'm doing by well, what I did by erasing the code last night and starting off fresh, because the checking the light was on for the code is uh I'm finna start it and the the um, evap monitor should run and should pass. There's no problem with that. My only problem is the cat guys, and uh sometime I can get all the monitors except the cat to run and buy and get squeaky right by it to where I can get emission. Now, if I can't get that uh, solution done, I will have to result in uh, unauthorized tactics, okay, that I totally disagree with, but I have to do it because I do not want to spend $1,000 for a cat converter. And y'all remember my Pacifica? I put that right here. What I had to do to my Pacifica to get it to pass the cat converter. I don't even like talking about that, but it's a reality, guys. I mean, mechanics... Everybody trying to save money. I don't want to spend a thousand dollars on the cat converter on this car when it's causing me no or causing the car no drivability issue. Now, yes, sure, it could be uh, responsible for polluting the ozone, and that is a no-no. That is also bad. So the right thing to do is to go out and buy your cat and put it on and be done with it. But everybody do not have a thousand dollars. So I just started this car. Hopefully, the evap system monitor is running. In fact. Uh, let me grab my scan tool and plug it out and we'll look at it guys. So hold tight. Let me grab my tool. I'll be right back All right guys, I am back. Uh, I have my scan tool hook up. I'm looking at the topology now. Now there is nothing in the PCM I want to say no. So let's go straight to OBD monitors. Where is it? Uh, right here We're gonna look at card readiness uh, we don't want cylinder misfire. I know I don't have a misfire. Car readiness status. Not complete, not complete. Nothing's complete. What exactly? See, I have five. One, two, three, four, five. So if I can squeak past everything except cat, I can get an emission. Let me see what is running. Let me see if... Uh, let me go on the OBD. Where is EVAP emission? Also, guys, car has to have. Let's go. On the, ooh, pass test. I passed that. 
pretest. Yes, past that guys. So I have no evap monitors. Or well, I have no small leak. I have no evap small leak. It passed that test. It does that cold. It's the only time that monitor will run. So I assume now it's running purge. Let's take a look on the purge. Purge monitor waiting. What are you waiting on? Let's go on the pretest. Oh, see anything in the yellow? Everything's about it. Got to be green for it to start doing its thing. But I, this one is always the hardest one, one to run, guys. So um, I got the real. Um, yeah, this it's gonna take a while for that one to run. I have the real. I have uh, suspicious. Cat gonna give me a problem. I'm gonna have to result in my trickery because um, number one, I'm gonna need cat if I can't get evap the month. Well, to run. Now y'all saw it passed a small evap leak already. Remember, I erased it, everything. I cleared the memory last night, so whatever come up now is actual. It's live. And guys, in order for the evap monitor to run, you can't have lower than a quarter tank. I'm right there. So, but like I say, it seemed to have passed. And if I turn it off, I will be restarting the cycle. So I could turn it off and see if uh, worst card readiness to see if Esom purge monitor test status. Now it's showing not complete, but if I turn the key off and turn it back on and go complete, I'm good. But if I turn it off and turn it back on, I would have just erased that cycle and have it, you know, basically started over. The card not cold anymore at that point. So you got to keep all that in mind. Well, anyway, guys, I'm going to drive. I'm headed to work right now. So I'm going to drive. Hopefully, uh, maybe the O2 will run. Maybe the EGR will run. Maybe these will run. So we'll check again. We'll check the monitors again by the time I get to work. All right? Stay tuned. Let's get it. All right, guys. I'm back driving again. Trying to get this old. Uh-oh. Progress. Pass test. Pass test. Yes. Y'all heard that. So I passed O2 sensor monitors. Uh, I'm not even at work yet, guys. I did that on the way to work. Shut up. So let me see what my car readiness is at now. Since I'm coming up on a red light. Car readiness is. Oh, no. Not complete. Complete. Not complete. 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 One more, guys. Uh, cat not complete. I don't expect that to be complete. So emission purge has ran. O2 monitor has ran. No, O2 monitor test. Okay, so one of them hasn't ran yet. Remember, guys, there's two O2 sensors on this vehicle. Golly. And O2 sensor is tied in with the cat so it might fail guys so i will have the result in my trickery all right so i'm headed to the shop now guys i'll make a decision once i get there <laughs> stay tuned all right guys what do you know um uh, i have still haven't made it to work i decided to pull over and start the car turn the car off and start it back up and what do you know everything has passed except for the cat i don't really need that i got this is 75%. I have the ESIM monitor has passed and ran. O2, O2, O2. Look at that, guys. I'm about to do this right now, right here. I'm at this lot over here. Uh, wow. Perfect timing. I better get this done while I can. Right here, right now, guys. Because <laughs> if I drive this thing on the work, uh, it's going to run the monitor for that cat. And it will fail. Okay, and that will knock my knock a hole. My light will come on likely, but I got it. It's ready. It is all ready, guys. Ugh! I did not have to result into foolery, trickery, illegally, I guess. I'm not sure if that's illegal. Uh, hey, now it's unethical. <laughs> Let me say that, guys. It's not right. Let me put it like that. I mean, you can be, uh, you can be doing things totally wrong and still be in a legal window 
what I was about to do was not necessary, illegal, but it's just wrong and stupid. Okay, but why am I talking about it? I did not have to result to doing it. So I'm good. Now, let's see, you can see this guy testing gas cap and everything. I don't know the condition of my gas cap. Funny thing about gas cap, why would you fail they test on gas cap if your computer checked your emission system for evap leaks? Obviously, your computer passed the evap leak portion of the test. So there's obviously no leak coming from the gas cap. Think about that, guys. When I get up here, he's going to pull my gas cap out. What if it fail? I'm like, why, how did it fail and my computer didn't pick up an evap leak? So, and that happens. I don't understand why they're testing gas cap. From 96 and up, guys, the computers are capable of testing everything. How much how much CO's you pin, putting out, not from a gas analyzer standpoint, but from, uh, it monitors different ways of, you know, using your computer. But I don't understand some of the things they're testing. I understand looking down there and see if a cat is there, but if it's a 96 and up, your computer going to let you know that your cat not there. You see, Y'all see what I'm going with this? So basically all they're needed to do is plug in your thing. Why is all this other stuff being done? I don't know. Now, back in the day, I know Tom Cook remember all this. Inspection was very crucial. I mean, they would get in here. They would check turn signal. That is a real inspection, guys. Now, uh, everybody or everything is uh, centered around emissions. They really only care what's coming out of your tailpipe. All right? They don't too much care about if your turn signal works because that's a safety issue there. All right, guys, it's my turn to go in, so I should pass with no problem, but we'll see. That's all I have. I got to find $20. They said 18 up there, so we'll find. I got to find some. I have a credit card. Uh, stay tuned, guys. Or oh, if you don't see me back, that was a wrap. Thanks for watching.